Hey there, it's CJ Willie, and I'm cracking a pack today. I'm back with pack number 15 in my 1987 Sportflix baseball box. Since each pack only has three cards in it, I'll talk about my memory of the player from the 1980s and maybe something specific about the player from the 1986 MLB season. I'll also go over the two team logo trivia cards and check out the facts on them. Okay, let's get to cracking the pack. Like we have Bill Maddox, Madlock on the back. All right, first team logo trivia card is the Milwaukee Brewers. And if we check it out on the back, it has the team standing starting in 1986 all the way back to 1977. In 1986, they finished sixth with a 77 and 84 record, 18 games back. George Van Berger and Tom Treblehorn were their managers. If we go back to 1977, they also finished sixth with a 67 and 95 record, 33 games back. Alex Gramis was their manager. In 1982, the Brewers went to the World Series and faced my St. Louis Cardinals, ultimately losing to the Cardinals in seven games. Next up is the team logo trivia card for the Detroit Tigers. And on the back, it has their pitching leaders starting in 1986 and going back to 1977. In 1986, Jack Morris won the Triple Crown for the team in pitching leaders. Morris was 21-8 with a 3.27 ERA and 223 strikeouts. That's the second year in a row that Morris pulled off that feat. He also did in 1985 with 16 wins, 3.33 ERA, and 191 strikeouts. If we go back to 1977... Dave Rosema took the triple crown for the Tigers, getting 15 wins, a 3.10 ERA, and a whopping 92 strikeouts. The first card in the pack is a continuation of us getting duplicates in the first card of the pack. It is Ozzie Guillen. Guillen began his career with the Chicago White Sox. He was the rookie of the year in 1985 in the American League. Known mainly as a defender, Gein was able to get on base and had a decent batting average, spent the good portion of his major league career with the Chicago White Sox. Later on, he became the manager of the White Sox and led them to the World Series crown in 2005 over the Houston Astros. Next up, looks like we have one of the rookie cards. Uh, there were a number of cards in the set where multiple rookie players were highlighted. And this particular card, Pat Dodson of the Red Sox, Terry Steinbach of the A's, Benito Santiago of the Padres, Ty Ganey, I believe, of the Astros, Phil Lombardi of the Yankees, and Dave Clark from the Indians. And if we take a look at the front again, it contains all the photos of each of those players. Okay, our final card in the pack is Bill Madlock. Madlock originally came with the Rangers, moved on to the Cubs, Giants, Padres, and then Dodgers. Madlock was known as a great hitting third baseman. He was able to win batting titles in 1975, 1976, 1981, and 1982, and finished with over 2,000 hits in his major league career. My favorite card or best card out of the pack is the card highlighting baseball prospects. I remember when the set came out, these were really cool cards to check out. I did like the lenticular design for the regular Sport Flix cards, but the design for the multiplayer cards were really cool. As you tip the card back and forth, you were able to see the different players that were highlighted on it. From this particular group, Terry Steinbach and Benito Santiago, both catchers, had relatively decent careers. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did like it, please subscribe and share. Also, share with me in the comments what your favorite card was or what you thought was the best card in the pack. Until next time when I'm back to crack pack number 16 in my 1987 Sportflix baseball box.